Kirchhoff's second rule. The algebraic sum of the products of resistance and the corresponding currents flowing through them is equal to the algebraic sum of the EMF applied along the loop. Kirchhoff's second rule is based on the conservation of energy and the concept of the electric potential. Consider a closed path ABCDA formed using resistors R1, R2, R3, R4 and batteries having EMFs epsilon 1 and epsilon 2. The electric potential at any point in a steady circuit does not change with time. If VA is the electric potential at point A, then on measuring the electric potential at various points in the closed path AB, C, DA and coming back to A, the electric potential would again be equal to VA. This singular value of the electric potential is based on the law of conservation of energy. Starting from capital A, as we move in a clockwise direction in the loop, the electric potential reduces by I1 R1. This is because current flows from A to B, which means that the end A of the resistor R1 is at a higher potential. The potential increases by epsilon 1 as we move from negative terminal to positive terminal of battery having EMF epsilon 1. Potential increases on going from point B to point C through the resistor R2 as the direction of current is from C to B. Counting electric potential this way on reaching the point A back potential will be again VA therefore VA minus I1 R1 plus epsilon 1 plus I2 R2 minus I3 R3 minus epsilon 2 plus I4 R4 equals to VA therefore minus I1 R1 plus I2 R2 plus minus I3 R3 plus I4 R4 equals to epsilon 2 minus epsilon 1. This is the statement of Kirchhoff's second rule derived on the basis of the law of conservation of energy.